my name is Eileen Perez. I'm an astrophysicist, and this is the size of the sun. So the sun is the largest and most massive object that we have here in the solar system. But actually, when it's compared to the other stars, to the rest of the universe, it's actually a very average star. Uh, the best way to see this is to learn how to use the HR diagram. The HR diagram is really, really important in astronomy, and it really becomes how you do all the stellar comparisons, all your stellar calculations. You always turn to your HR diagram. The way a HR diagram works is that you have the spectral classes in one side, and then you have uh, your luminosity, so how luminous the star is, how much power is it giving off. So here you have a luminosity scale. And now this is based on how much uh, more luminous it is than the sun. So here at this point, we call this line the solar luminosity line. So let's talk about the spectral classes. The spectral classes range from hot to very cold and um, from blue to red. So O belongs to the blue big star, to the really hot ones, and M belongs to the red stars, the colder ones. So a way to memorize the spectral classes is, oh boy, a failing grade kills me. Uh, there's many of them, and you can Google them up. Uh, but our sun is actually a G2 class star. So if you come to G and find the luminosity of the sun, it will be somewhere around here. So this is where our sun will be. Now, exactly how big it is. Our sun is actually has a mean radius of about 700,000 kilometers. You could actually fit Earth 109 times across its diameter. So it's very large. But as you can tell from this range, noting that the, here are the giants and here are the smallest stars, we're somewhere in the middle. So in comparison to other stars, we're actually quite small. And then the mass of our sun is 2 times 10 to the 30th kilograms. And this is kind of to give you an idea of the size of our sun. My name is Eileen Perez. I'm an astrophysicist, and this is the size of the sun. Mm -hmm.